Hello and welcome back to another episode of Musical Minds. I'm your host, Ben Wallace. And on today's episode, I'm going to be discussing one of the greatest ragtime pianists who has probably ever lived. Got my uh, old and no longer functioning uh, magical piano tie. I'm also wearing some uh, piano socks today. Um, Not that you can see them, but... Maybe I'll put some footage in. Um, this guy is an absolute legend. Unfortunately, he's no longer able to play. Allow me to introduce you to the magnificent Tom Briar. Many years ago, an accomplished sight-reading pianist had the Pokemon Red and Blue Game Corner theme sheet music placed in front of him on an upright piano. What followed was a six-minute ragtime extravaganza, the two-page sheet music converted into an entirely new, but still in keeping with the original, piece. Along with the Game Corner music, other themes this awe-inspiring talent performed include other famous video games from a silent movie version of Angry Birds, multiple Legend of Zelda pieces, and even an attempt at the famous Nian Cat theme. Well, for American composer and pianist Tom Bryer, things were about to change dramatically. This is the story of what happened to Tom seven years ago. Everyone loves a child prodigy, and Tom Briar was just that, having composed multiple pieces before his teen years. He had an ear for pieces he heard, however his signature skill came from his ability to adapt sheet music, sight reading his music into what has come to be known as Briarization, keeping most of the elements from the original piece, but adding ragtime and a plethora of trills, rapid playing of two notes that are next to each other. An extremely noticeable active left hand seemingly jumping up and down the lower end of the keys in a powerful staccato manner and a right hand that just does it almost unable to play a wrong note tom briar likely perfected this in his early years playing the piano from the age of four thanks to his father and taking piano lessons from the age of five an early start is definitely a key to unlocking this raw unequivocal talent and skill. Tom Breyer has eight albums released from 1994 through to a final live concert in 2015. Interestingly, most of these albums, with the exception of Rising Star and his collaboration work with American composer Nan Bostick, were self-releases without the signing of a record label. His love of ragtime is clear During the 80s, he wrote his first original, Pinecone Rag. After this, he began attending the Sacramento, his place of origin, the Sacramento Ragtime Society, even impressing the president, Larry Applegate. This society now has over 180 members worldwide, and they still meet monthly to play for one another, to promote and share their love of ragtime, which is really nice to see. It just goes to show something as profound as music a universal language can evoke love lasting for decades.
The next section of the episode will contain discussions that can be distressing to some viewers. Please only watch on if you feel you are able to. In August of 2016, whilst driving, Tom's vehicle was hit by a speeding motorist from behind. Tom was badly injured, remaining in a coma for a period of time and becoming paralysed, tragically bringing his piano playing to an abrupt, cruel end. It is important to note that whilst some updates have been given on his condition since this very unfortunate incident, Tom and his family must be shown respect and their privacy maintained. This video's main purpose is to discuss Tom's incredible piano ability. Whilst he is now unable to play, his mind still holds all of the knowledge that he had prior. As Tom recovers, his online videos of him playing incredible pieces inspire and instigate new musicians. Those who share a love for the keys, whether it be performing a set piece or just improvising, just as Tom used to do. By the mid-2000s, Tom had composed hundreds of ragtime pieces. A very notable and a personal favourite of mine is Peril in Pantomime, originally composed in 2009 for his Blue Sahara album. Coming up with a title for it, um, it took lots of searching, lots of asking around, and I did eventually get the right name. I, I like to think of this as silent movie music for a movie that hadn't been filmed. Whatever. <laughs> This is called Peril in Pantomime. In the same vein as his other pieces, Peril in Pantomime incorporates an incredibly swift moving right hand along with a bouncy, aggressive left hand with short, quick sections where both hands play correspondingly. The more professional composers will notice that the left hand occasionally incorporates a descending five note octave, akin to Andrew Lloyd Webber's legendary Phantom of the Opera, albeit much faster. However, also establishing the link between the two, the opera, and the pantomime, both being types of theatre performance. The beats change, offbeat and onbeat switching back and forth in a rapid fashion. Tom manages masterfully to keep the piece entertaining with wild sections from beginning to end, becoming more chaotic as the piece goes on, with the tempo mostly sticking around 100 beats per minute, though Tom consistently played it faster than this, with it speeding up as the piece progresses constantly repeating sections, extremely complex left and right manoeuvres up and down the piano, predominantly independent of each other, not to mention diminuendos, crescendos, many octave shifts and numerous other notational modifications. Reading and even just looking at the sheet music for this piece made my brain and eyes dry up. That isn't to say that Peril in Pantomime is bad, not at all. What Tom Breyer has achieved with this piece, and all his others, but with this one in particular, is a level of advanced composition that even the most intermediate and most skilled pianists would struggle to perform, especially at the speed that Tom plays it. If this isn't proof enough of Tom Breyer's stupendously able musical mind, I don't know what is. Whilst the now may not be the same for Tom, he is reportedly in good care. His legacy remains in his ability to captivate the audience, not just those who were in the same room as him when he played the piano, but to everyone who watches and listens to him playing from across the globe using the power of the internet. Tom Bryan is a phenomenon like no other, unarguably one of the most accomplished pianists of all time. He has made myself and millions of musicians, fans, and people alike smile with glee. May he have a peaceful recovery in the years to come.
And so there we have it. An absolute masterclass of composing and piano ability, piano playing ability. Tom Bry is a legend, not only of ragtime, but of music as a whole. To think uh, I f- came across him randomly when searching up Pokemon tunes on the piano, watching that six minute game corner masterpiece of improvisation is uh, left a mark on me. Yeah, even though he's no longer able to play, his legacy lives on, as I said. Thank you very much for watching.